What's going on, bro? This is your sign. Your sign to go all in. Look, I'm 24 years old. Last year, I made over a million dollars, as you probably seen on my YouTube channel. And I want to talk about how I did it and how I started from scratch. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Kenton Martin. I used to live in Ohio, and now I live in Florida. And this summer, actually, I'm sacrificing it to the hustle gods. I'm not going out, I'm not partying, I'm, I'm not doing really much of anything, but working, but I'm in the heart of distractions. Listen to this. Look at that. I'll, I'll give you a sneak peek down there. It's flooded with people everywhere. It's a Saturday night. And uh, I don't know, I can't blame them, but that's what, that's what we're living at right now. Beautiful city. And I want to just talk to you guys about how I got started. So, once upon a time in 2020, um, I was tired of my job. I was working lots of hours. And basically, I wanted any way to make money online. So, I came across affiliate marketing on TikTok. And basically, all you had to do was post these TikToks and, you know you made money essentially now the game was more views you got the more money you would make at its basic level without me going into too much detail that i probably can't even remember right now so long story short i got really good at growing on tiktok and getting a lot of views on tiktok and i didn't really like the icky feeling that i felt around affiliate marketing in the first place not that kind of affiliate marketing at first i was all about it but then I was like, nah, because everyone else in the industry was kind of ruining it and being dishonest. And so pinning myself in that dishonest circle made me look dishonest by default. So I said, I'm going to switch something up. I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I'm going to stop this. I came across some videos on YouTube on like starting a coaching business. And basically, if you have a skill, you can monetize that skill um, by teaching others how to do that skill. And so for me, I'm thinking, what skill do I have? You know, I don't really know. And, and this was like a two or three month process. So I'm not making any money. I'm just living off of what I had left over from affiliate marketing. And I'm, you know, what am I gonna do? I'm basically kind of panicked, right? And I don't know what skill I have. And then it clicked. I'm good at growing on TikTok. I have like over 200,000 followers. I did that in like six weeks, less than six weeks. I can get views on command. I kind of have a system for how I do it. If I can create like a step-by-step -step course on helping other people do it, and not just help other people do it with information, but help them implement it specifically, then I'll, I'll be good. So I came up with an offer. You gain 10,000 followers within six weeks or your money back. And my course or my program was $1,500. I ended up making over $100,000 within three months. So I think my first sale was May 11th and um, I closed it up in like mid-July, 100K. It was, it was like July 5th or July 6th. So it was crazy, right? And the lesson there is just, I went all in on affiliate marketing, learned a skill, and then I pivoted into teaching others that skill for something useful. Because many people want to grow on TikTok for many different reasons, whether you're a gamer, whether you're a streamer, whether you are a cook, whether you're a dentist, I've helped um, people that do plastic surgery, I've helped mindset coaches, I've helped business coaches, I've helped accountants, um, tax specialists, I've helped um, freelance services and, and people that do freelance services. I've helped so many people because growth is just a great thing. It's a marketing, it's a marketing skill. And I was really good at TikTok. Now, this is 2021 at this point, right? I go all in on that. And I honestly think I should have stayed with it, but that's besides the point. I made the decision I made, I'm gonna tell you the story. Basically what happened was I pivoted from growth on TikTok because growth is one thing, but how to turn that growth into money because people had the right idea. They're like, oh, I want to be a famous musician. I get them a bunch of followers. I say they get 50K followers, 60K followers. They're still not making a living. They're doing their passion or whatever, which is fine. But at some point you have to grow up and be like, I need to make money. And you can make money growing on TikTok as long as you have the skill of growing on TikTok. You can go to my first video here on my YouTube and I have a video outlining how to make money on TikTok as an online coach. Your first $10,000 in a month. And, you know, it works. So I taught people, hey, 
instead of just growing on TikTok for your own interests, right? Let's let me just walk you through the process I went through when I was pivoting from affiliate marketing to becoming a TikTok growth coach, right? There was that two or three month period where I didn't know what to do. And if I known what to do earlier, I would have made a lot more money earlier. So I'm going to help other people find that, right? Even if you didn't know what to do, I can teach you how to grow on TikTok. And from there, we'll, we'll just take a skill that you have and turn it into a coaching business, make you 10K in a month. Now, that was an eight week program. Um, we'll get and uh, my guarantee was you'll make at least 10K, um, $10,000 within eight weeks, or I'll work with you until you do, right? And I think I had, I had a couple refunds, but I was always okay with refunding people because I was so good at doing it. It was like, if you needed a refund, I'll give it to you. I wasn't pressed. So I basically became not just a TikTok growth coach, but let's say a TikTok business coach, teaching people how to actually convert that traffic into business. Now, my pivot was instead of me, because I got really tired and stale with the whole like, teaching people how to grow on TikTok as I'm on TikTok. And I was, my, my ego was fragile, if I'm honest. I don't want to be the guy who's like, well, you only grow on TikTok because you're teaching people how to grow on TikTok. Now, keep in mind, this is 2020 where I, 2021 where I started doing this. So I was one of the first TikTok growth people out there ever. And I should have stayed. I should have stayed and been patient and kept growing and growing because it would have evolved probably into Instagram and YouTube. But I didn't. My ego is fragile. And there was months where it was just stagnant. Now you're gonna laugh at me, but there was months where I was doing like 60K, 60K, 60K. I couldn't break past 100K a month and I was frustrated. So I was like, let me just pivot. And I, from a mentor that I paid $60,000 to in a year, he said, well, the next big pivot is gonna be teaching skills. So I was like, okay, I'll go, I'll take a step back. And instead of me being like a marketing coach or a business coach, I'll get rid of my whole business. And what I'll do is I'll partner with my friend, Zach, and I'll use my TikTok marketing skills to teach people a skill that what you can do is go into remote sales. A remote sales is a good skill for you to learn. So I'll use my TikTok to market for that. We'll teach you remote sales within um, 90 days, get you a job, make you money, all that good stuff. And that business is doing well. It's, it's all right. Um, there's just up and downs and stuff like that. But, um, well, I shouldn't downplay it within so last year i made a million dollars in 2023 um and the highest month was like 230k in one month so did better than any of my other businesses now the thing is and the reason why maybe it's maybe i shouldn't have stayed just doing being a tiktok coach but um maybe i should have broadened my horizons is because i got stagnant with tiktok because i was no longer so when you get to a point where you're successful, you get stagnant because you think you know it all. And usually when you get stagnant, it's this illusion of you being stuck. And when you're stuck, it forces you to grow and, and, and do something new, like build a new skill on top of the skill that you have, right? When I was stuck in affiliate marketing um, and I didn't want to do that anymore, but I, and I refused to go back to it, I had to grow and build another skill on top of the skill I had. I, you know what I mean? Go from having a skill to teaching this skill and made me so much more money. The reason why I wish I would have stayed as a TikTok coach or social media coach is I would have had to build another skill. I would have had to been like, okay, I'm gonna keep being a TikTok coach, but how can I build on top of this, right? <coughs> Excuse me, how can I make something better of this? How can I make my service better? Um, how can I make my marketing better? How can I become evolved? If I'm bored, then just solve my boredom by becoming better. And I didn't do that, right? I could have incorporated AI in my services. I could have <coughs> uh, incorporated like services that were like recurring monthly. I could have done so many different things, but I got stagnant and I wanted to see quick money. So I took a step back, went back into the skill of me just knowing how to market essentially and became the marketing face of a company that teaches people remote sales, which I'm not mad at, um, but you know, ultimately it brought me back to the place where I was, <laughs> where I was back when I was bored, stagnant, doing the same things over, not evolving. Except this time I took like two step back, two steps back because there's nothing to really build off of, right? 
Um, but I learned my lesson from last time where I'm not gonna take a step back and do something or whatever. I'm gonna build on top of this and I'm gonna build new skills. So right now I'm learning YouTube and my YouTube videos aren't gonna be the best. But regardless of that, those are just some nuggets that happen that I can share in my journey. Um, this is your sign to go all in because I was born August 9th, 1999. I'm telling you that because in 2020, I was 20 years old. 2021, I was 21 years old. So imagine at 21 years old, making $100,000 within three months, within 90 days, right? Insane. And I'm complaining and stuff like that and whatever, but like $230,000 in one single month, and that was in 2023. My goodness, you know what I mean? And it didn't take so, like, when I figured out about affiliate marketing in the very beginning of my journey, that this is 2020 now, and I made a fairly good amount. I was making six figures a year. Um, I just went all in on it. Like, I didn't care what I had to do because at the time I was like, it was 12 hours a day at a call center or whatever. So I didn't care what, I did not care what I had to do. I was like, okay, I figured out the game. The game is um, become an affiliate marketer, market on TikTok, right? And then find the best ways to market on TikTok. And I just, figured it out and I just got obsessed with it and I ended up being smarter than your average person and genuinely creating systems that allowed me to perform consistently I chose to take a step back from that like I said because I felt icky doing it dishonest people didn't want to put myself in there then I got really I, I was stagnant then it's like you could be a, an online coach use my skill of TikTok growth and I got really good at that like I have a knack for creating systems especially in, in on the fulfillment end and whatnot not to brag about myself, but I only figured those things out by going all in. And the timing was was amazing. It was impeccable. But beyond that, it happened so fast because I just took action faster than I could think, to be honest. Like, I just adapted along the way. The same way I'm going to do with YouTube. Like, I don't know how this is going to work. I can't sit here and think about how I'm gonna get 100,000 subscribers in the next year or six months or whatever. I'm just gonna have to post videos and adjust along the way. And I think us as humans have a really good, good system for adjusting, but we never give our, our, our system a chance to adjust because of outside feelings or outside forces, I guess. You know, we, we never get a chance to see what we're made of. We never give ourselves the chance to reach our maximum potential. Even if you decide to go all in, you meet your, you hit your first wall and it's like, this sucks, I don't know what to do. I hit my first wall like very early. And, and remember when I said, I don't want to do affiliate marketing anymore. The girlfriend I was with at the time, she remembers, she could tell you, I was up like till two or 3 a.m. almost every night just trying to figure something out. I'm going on constant walks. I'm, I'm just trying to figure, I'm doing constant research every day. I'm, I'm listening to Gary Vee. I'm reprogramming my mind. I'm like, I can do something. There's something out there. I'm not gonna quit until like I have zero dollars in my bank account and I absolutely like have to. I'll, I'll go negative in the, in, in the bank account before I go back to a job something has to work just got obsessed over it but that wall you have to understand lasted for two or three months and, and you have to remember i'm not living off of like i don't have forty thousand dollars in my bank account at this point this is me like i have i'm on a, a thin i'm on thin ice like we're talking 3k two or 3k that i have to just like scramble and cut down my expenses to survive for the next two or three months while I figure something out. I'm like, this something's gotta work. Something's gotta work. I'm not going back. Everything will burn before I go back. And there was, that was a long adjusting period. And what got me through it is just an innate belief in myself. And beyond just myself, just an innate belief that if someone else out there has done it, can do it, why can't I? And it's the same for you because I'm no different than you. I graduated with a um, 
with like a 2.6 GPA. Um, I wasn't like the best athletically. Uh, I don't know. I like I, I wasn't. You you'd look at me and like look at like my past performance, I guess, in high school and my life leading up to that point, and you wouldn't think anything extraordinary about me besides the fact that I have an extraordinary obsession with things. When I really, when I really want to get good at something, I just lock in. That probably came from video games, to be honest. It's a shame I don't play video games now. But now I'm on this adjusting period again. Because to be quite honest with you guys, I mean, I'm, I told you guys what I'm doing now and I'm doing the whole TikTok thing where I'm teaching people remote sales or telling people to go into remote sales. And the ways to grow on TikTok before and what I've been doing leading up to this point isn't working anymore. And I find myself posting five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times a day, nothing. And would you believe at this point, I have a million followers. I have over a million followers and some, some of my videos do like 500 views. It's embarrassing to be honest, but I just keep shooting them. Just keep, you know, throwing stuff at the wall, see what sticks. I'm no quitter. I'll just let it, I'll, I'll let things roll. And um, no one really cares. No one's coming to save you. No one cares about your mental state. Um, it's just about what can you provide in this world, unfortunately. Not unfortunately. I mean, I think that's just the way that it is. Um, and so you owe it to yourself to not downplay, not blame anything, anyone, any circumstances. Because no one's coming to save you either. No one really cares about how you feel. No one cares about your mentality. I've, been, I've gone through some of my most depressing days and weeks these past weeks or months. And I doubt anyone really cares. Like no one's no one's gonna check up on me. Like, oh, yo, how how are you doing, or anything like that. And I'm totally fine with that. I think that that's how life kind of goes. And um, because everyone has their own stuff going on, and so you have to stop blaming others. You have to let that go, and you have to go all in. Let yourself. Blitz yourself all in. Do it in a smart way that makes sense for you. And just don't quit. Just readjust along the way. Readjust, 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 readjust. And then, you know, your your target, your target is this TikTok, tic tac thing. And this is you, your your system, and you're readjusting and you're readjusting and you're readjusting. And the closer you get, right, right now it's just like this. You're going like up and down. You're not even getting closer to the tic tacs, you know? But then, you know, you'll find something and and you'll just start honing in and then you're you're adjusting and you're adjusting and now it's smooth sailing and then boom you get there and once you get there my advice for you is to foresee for the future and keep building and keep forcing yourself to grow that's what i'm doing now and i i, I love it because i have a wealth of experience that i can talk on and the people that are willing to listen you're going to get some good stuff and we're going to go through this journey together and i'm excited for it but that this is your sign Go all in. I'm 24 years old right now. I, I turn 25 next month. Last year, I made over a million dollars. Now, that doesn't mean like I had a million liquid. Technically, you could say I'm a millionaire because if you have assets that are worth over a million, then you're a millionaire. My company made over a million dollars. I probably took home, I don't even know, three, 400K. I'd have to actually look and talk to my accountant and stuff. I don't really keep track of that. But I just want to be honest, like w what that really means when I say I made a million dollars. My company did a million dollars. Company that I generated all the leads for, etc. Did a million dollars. I own that asset. Millionaire. 24. Well, happened at 23. So I've been a millionaire since 23. And it doesn't stop there. A million is not even that much. I won't go on, go all in on it, on this conversation, but I'm telling you, go all in. You're going to learn so many good lessons. If there's anything you want to know, learn that I can share on my journey, let me know. But that's it. This is your sign to go all in because now I'm in like a luxury condo. It's like 4K a month here. I live alone. It's a one bedroom. Would you believe that? Pay like 4K a month. It's pretty cool. I need to, I shaved my head. This is why I just randomly, like I bust it all off from, you know, whatever. But that's it, man. Um, go all in. 
You owe it to yourself to be great. You just readjust. I believe in you because I believed in me. Don't listen to the people on the internet. Just do it, bro. You owe it to yourself. I promise you, you can do so much. Just don't give up. Stay locked in. Do it not just for me. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family, for the people that believe in you. Do it for your circle because you're going to inspire them. And, you know, those dreams were like you and your boys or, you know, you're on a yacht somewhere in Monaco or Dubai or wherever you guys want to go and just taking random trips to Japan. You guys all can do that. But you guys got to lock in. You got this. Peace.